Well, might not come as a surprise to anybody, but I'm not really big on being down on myself if I can help it. I don't think anybody ever, ever did anything positive by being down on themselves. I believe you can help yourself stop doing something negative. You know, if you're going out every day and you're slapping kittens and then you think, oh, that was fun, but I also feel kind of bad. It seems like there's something wrong about it. You know, and you, you toss it and turn it all night and you wake up in the morning. You know, that's probably a day you're not going to slap any kittens, right? So, uh, which is a good thing. So, um, it can't stop you from things. Now, normally, luckily for me, I have not ever found myself in many kitten slapping positions. But, you know, I have, like, uh, look, I'm behaving uh, wrongly or rudely with this kind of person in this situation or whatever. So, you know, I've had things. But usually, they're not so desperate that I've had to beat myself up just so I didn't do it again. And, and I could always... Uh, pretty much always, you know, I spend a little time feeling bad about what I've done. That helps me to, to stop what I'm doing. It helps me to focus on maybe habits that I have that are contributing to it. I'm not afraid or against that side of things. It's just that, you know, basically I think it's most productive to limit that based on the scale of the problem. How desperate are you, you know, to, to stop this behavior? How terrible is it? And in these situations I've been, usually I can just think of something else more positive. Um, some habits like, well, if I start doing this habit, I'll probably think differently after a while. And then I do it, and oh, I think differently, but it's not what I thought. And so I choose something else, and this has worked, you know. You create something positive. By thinking positively about what you can do, you can emphasize things that are positive, or at least that you think are positive. And, you know, other than a few habits that you might have to go, oh, I've got to be critical of myself. You know, and to be critical is fine. See, that's a way of putting it. It's just that being down on yourself. I've never seen anything positive coming out of it. Now, anything genuinely positive. You have the apparent positive or less of a negative. Now, if you're antinatalist, of course, then you got to love this kind of thing because they think the only positives are cessation of negative. So if somebody is is feeling bad about themselves well that's as glory and wonderful because this is a way to cess cessate their negative things now for me that's not good enough stopping the negatives won't make life worth living you gotta emphasize the positive as well two sides to this coin emphasize the positive as well as well also uh, in addition to criticizing yourself and life and everything else so this is a major danger because I think if I if I thought that way I'd eventually you know this this and I need it this way I'd eventually become one. But what I have found through practice is that you can emphasize the directions you want to go in, and that is the most effective way to stop going in another direction. Because if you just feel bad about yourself and you start to stand still, when you do start moving again, those ruts could very likely still be there, and you move off in the negative direction right but if you instead of doing that if you say oh I'm moving I don't like that direction I'll move in this direction well it's much less likely you're gonna revert because you've actually moved you've moved off that path you've moved away from the starting point you have to find something positive to emphasize really no matter how bad your crime is and how bad you've had to feel about yourself because maybe it was a desperate crime that you really didn't ever want to commit you still have to find something positive left over. And if you really can, you know, it's, it might be time for suicide or something because you ought to be able to, even a really terrible person, seriously people that might have killed somebody or, or you know, been a gangbanger in their youth or whatever. There's examples of, of people overcoming things like that, right? And it's always by moving in a positive direction. Feeling bad about yourself and stopping the negativity does not lead to a new direction. It just kills momentum. That's only good if your momentum in itself was dangerous. And you still will always be left at another direction you have to go in. You can't, re you can't remain motionless. You have to move in another direction eventually. Right. So that's going to take 
positive thoughts about things you can accomplish, what you can do. So what you can do is really the best thing to look at in the first place. Okay. It's going to come to that. Maybe you can save yourself some, some trauma and it'll actually help because people that get really down on themselves do a lot of shitty stuff, I found. 